Al Miller from New Post, we're out on the Chippewa Flowage. Uh, tell us about this uh, big fish of yours. I come in pretty slow, but, but I nailed them though. About 30 pounds, 25, 30 pounds. How do you go about bringing a fish like that in? What? How do you make I, them come up to the hole? I use a decoy. So it's just a plastic man-made decoy. And I, uh, I got it on a string and I just moved the string and that decoy swims around underneath the water. And then, I don't know, fish see it and they come in. How long have you been doing this? All my life, pretty much. Why is uh, spearing on the flowage important to the uh, Anishinaabe? Food, food. I love fish. Who, who taught you how to fish? Oh. I'm not even sure. Hmm. I think other, just other kids and stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I could go out and we'd build our own shacks and we'd go out, and me and my friends, and just go down the floats out here. What do you like about uh, jabbing fish? The thrill, I'm still shaking it. <laughs> yeah. So what's next? What are you going to do with this uh, beautiful fish? Well, that's... I'm keeping this one because it's my brother's birthday this weekend and we're going to have fish fry. <laughs> yeah, that's when you what kind of decoy are you using? Yeah, it looks like kind of like a trout. Put a little spinner on it. Make it a little flashier. It's supposed to be like a trout. It's just a man made one. Works good though. Got hit by a northern earlier. A little small northern came in and bit it. <laughs> what does it take to be a fisherman out on the floage? What do you got to do? Get your stuff together and go. Just got to have the ambition and drive and whatever, you know, and go. Do it. This is Nick Vanderpie reporting for LCOTV.com. Chi miigwech. Miigwech.